And uh, we have to go around that corner. Hopefully, no one comes at us. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, dear God, Christopher. What? <laughs> wow. Look at that. This is incredible. Wow. This is like discovering the pirate ship in the Goonies. Candy. There's gotta be some candy in there. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, Moab. Oh my god. City limits of Moab, and we're getting close to uh, the center. Uh, so yeah, Hell's Revenge. What? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, it's officially the next morning. Might not look like it, but it is. That's what it looks like outside. You ready to go ride? Yeah. Okay. Come on, babe. This is me right now. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to get the best angles on this whole thing, so. I'm gonna bring the GoPro today. This is a chesty strap right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go rig up right now. Parking at. It's where some of the people mountain bike. So we're going to start it off a little on the uh, intermediate easy side. Try that out. I'm going to find a spot in the shade right here. Just kidding, there's no shade. You alright? Okay. Ready? Here we go. You're gonna have to do it for me. Oh. My hip just wants to get tired. Okay. How come you didn't unclip? You just went for it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I had it and my handlebar hit. Okay. Check your bike. That's good. That's good. It's probably in a different gear by now. No, don't no. climbing. Where did your bike hit? I don't hit? know. I think my hip took most okay. of the fall, honestly. I think we'll get a carbon. Okay, you're good. We're done with our mountain biking ride and we're here at Arches National Park. Now, it might not look like much right now, but you're about to be like, holy crap. Yeah, we're on our way up there right now. Getting some guacamole and some chips. Pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. Almost ran off the road. This place is known for having arches. So we we'll do a little bit of hiking. We're gonna mess with these arches. See if we can't get a better view and uh, bring you along with us. God, what the hell? 25 bucks. $25? Hi there, how are you all doing? Good, good how are you? Fine. Do we get the student discount? Do <laughs> we get the white forerunner discount? <laughs> oh man. A any other questions? The red ha the red hat from Austin discount. Uh, it'd be seventy five dollars. Okay. <laughs> How much is it? Twenty five. Here you go.
so the fault is kind of hard to explain but like I'm here the fault goes all the way through here but you can definitely see this one section right here being right there so there's your fault line isn't that crazy looking all right we got to one of these viewpoint places we're not even at the viewpoint yet but look at this rock oh my gosh hey wit look up here whoa so weird. It's amazing. Look at what is that called, babe? That's the three gossips. The three gossips up there? This yeah. one is the courthouse towers. Holy moly. And gosh. Tower of Babel. Yeah, that one's amazing. Like something from like Interstellar, for example. And just look at the size of that thing. Certain things that are really scary in life. I'm gonna show you one real quick. Do you see it yet? That right there. Yeah, that's a little on the odd side. Double arch. Getting closer to double arch. It's huge. They don't realize how big this thing is until you get like right up to it. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's enormous. All right, here's Delicate Arch. We've made it to this place. Can you guys see it? It's way out there. All right, so we're seeing the very last arch of the day, it seems. It's about a walk, I don't know, one mile walk. It recently broke off a piece, I think in the 2000s, maybe the 90s, but either, either way. 94, I think is what that way Yeah. Happened. It's a pretty arch. There's the last arch of the day. It's a pretty arch. 1991 is when the 60 foot slab broke away. Um, a guy from Fort Collins, Colorado, got a picture of it. When it was all said and done, there was 180 tons of stone on the ground. I see where the debris fell right here. The crazy part is. They said it sounded like thunder with some cracks before it decided to peel off. So there were some people under it that managed to get out of the way. All right, day three, we're in the morning. Working out? Yep. What's up? Doing a little bit of chest and biceps. Done with the workout? Yep. What are we drinking? Protein. Protein! So, uh, yeah, a little protein shake. Got it from Costco. Good deal. 30 grams, good enough for today. Hit a 45 minute workout. Now we're gonna go either ride or we're gonna go rent one of these little side by side things. You'll see. We're getting ready to ride here. These are the bikes. This is our room right now. It's a complete wreck. Don't. <laughs> it's okay. You ready to ride? Yeah. I need to get my. Camel back filled up, put these two bikes on the back of the truck, just sitting out there. And uh, yeah, we're getting some GoPros ready, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it should be a fun day. Uh, we decided to go riding instead of the off-road thing or renting an off-road vehicle because after a while, or the rental price for the off-road vehicle that we wanted was like 420 bucks, 420. Um, and I don't know, like it just didn't make much sense because we have the truck, right? And it just, I know it's gonna be a different experience to get into a like a razor, you know, side by side kind of vehicle, but 
it doesn't make much financial sense when we have an off-road vehicle here. If we didn't have this vehicle and we'd rented a small car, for example, then I probably would have said yes. But, it, uh, you know, 420 bucks for a full day of rental for one of those things, that's a lot of money. So how do you like your new uh, Osprey thing, babe? I like it. She got a new, other than uh, it tastes like plastic right huh. now. She got a new hydration pack the other day from the place right across the street. It's important that when you go mountain biking, you know, even if it's an hour, you're supposed to, the rule of thumb is an, a liter per hour. So you think, I think you have a three liter pack. I might have a two or three liter pack. Either way, it buys us about three hours of, uh, you know, riding time. Our bite to eat will be here. Sweet Cravings Bakery and Bistro. This place is really good. We went to it the other day and uh, it was phenomenal. I'm gonna order a sandwich. You didn't bring your phone. Oh no, oh no. So one of the debacles I'm dealing with today is the fact that the zipper on my shorts might like unravel or pop off during the trail ride. So I don't know, but I'm still, I'm still wearing them, you know? So we're about to go into like the lowest part of the video here, the lowest part of Bonafide Hustler video ever. I gotta show you like the zipper thing that's like screwed up, but we're gonna be looking at, never mind, you'll see. All right, so that's the issue right there. It kind of like skipped the zipper thing right here, as you can see. Oh man, that's the lowest part of Bonafide Hustler history right here. I'm looking at my crotch. No, but this zipper thing is like pissing me off. Winnie's like... <laughs> How would you put that on a vlog? <laughs> this is my channel. Anyway, we're waiting for our paninis and it should be here any second. There's the finished product right there. Double turkey panini. Some uh, carbs. Winnie's got some carb panini going on. A macaroon and some other random stuff. We're gonna get to eat and we'll be on the trail soon. Okay, this booth. Yeah. All right, here we are. This famous Slick Rock bike trail. I got butterflies in my tummy. Yeah, what? Butterflies in my tummy. That's not good. I didn't recall you ordering butterflies at that place. Yeah, I'm nervous. Well, you just gotta do it. There's a ton of people biking over there. Tons. Right here. Oh yeah, it's like a chipmunk thing. He's like sunbathing. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. Yeah, there's a chipmunk sunbathing on that rock. I saw rock. him wiggling his tail. There he is. Ow. Dude, that guy's not moving for anybody. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's so fat. <laughs> All right, don't know if you can hear me, but Winnie's taking off. This this trail is, I think, too hard for her. I want to go wrap it up, though, and see if I can knock it out. Um, sitting on top of one of the slick rocks right here. Put the bike behind me, right there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna knock out nine more miles of this stuff. We'll see what happens. about two and a half miles in. <coughs> this is one of the hardest trails I've ever been on. It's hard, it's very hard. Uh, it's not so much the downhills. <coughs> it's crazy uphills and it's not exactly very warm out here. I feel like my lungs are just getting frozen over, but it's the uphills that are unbelievably tough. I've actually walked a couple already. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Two and a half miles in. All right, it's definitely windy over here. Almost at mile three. Look at the Colorado River, it's so pretty. Anyway, I'm just sitting here. It's a hard trail. You know, I'd give it like an eight out of 10. 
It's definitely not a 10 out of 10, but it's pretty hard. But uh, the river's beautiful, isn't it? All right, so hopefully you can hear me. I don't know what mile I'm at anymore. It is uh, rather hard. It's very hard, actually. There was a fork at about the two mile mark where I was supposed to go left. And I went right. So I think I've made this trail incredibly harder for myself because you're supposed to go clockwise. You come to a fork in the road, you see the left, that would be clockwise. I went counterclockwise. So I just made it really hard on myself. Really bad idea. I don't have any food either. That was probably a second bad idea right there. And I should have brought, uh, I got enough water. Uh, I, got, I got enough caffeine in me, but I definitely don't have uh, some carbs in me. I thought this was going to be, you know, a two hour ride, but it's going to turn out to be maybe a three or a four. going on guys uh, I'm about to be at to the Y which is almost close to the exit I bumped into a, a guy on the trail I asked him if he needed any help and uh, <laughs> I'm just here taking my medicine. he's taking his medicine if you know what I mean so anyway so he's just chilling on the trail taking his medicine you can probably figure out what that means um, I was asking him how hard the trail is but he's telling me about a shortcut I can take out um, it's not too bad now it was hard over there like way over there that was hard so anyway he's just chilling uh, I'm just chilling too I went counter, man. It's a little hard. A little. It's super hard, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost... Got two more miles of this trail to go. I'm feeling much better. I bet you that guy was feeling really good. Anyway, <coughs> this is where I messed up right here. This is where I effed up bad. So, main trail loop. So I didn't see this thing. I mean, I just went whatever, whatever direction I went. I just went the direction I thought was best, and that was the harder one. So, almost to the parking lot, getting close, about two miles out. See you guys in a bit. Oh my god. Thanks, man. Yeah, he's like, it's definitely harder on the other way. Did he go that way too? I found him on the trail, he was smoking weed. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm done. All ten and a half miles, I did it. Bikes are on the back of the SUV. Did the zipper make it through the entire thing? Let's see. The answer is no. It popped. The zipper popped, everything just went crazy. I have two pairs of pants under here, don't worry. But uh, yeah, this is my makeshift belt right here. Pretty crazy. Open. What do you got here? Protein, Protein bar. bar. Cool. I think at 12.30. What time did I roll in? You rolled in at 3.03. 3.03. 12.30, 3 That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's going on here, Whitney? We got some friends coming? Hey, you camping. Welcome to camp. Okay, okay, one coming over here. I think I see one coming. Holy crap, he's like calling ass. Oh my god, he's totally looking. Oh, here he comes. Oh, cute. Does he not like those? Yeah. He did have one. <laughs> I have like six of them here earlier. You fed him a whole freaking power bar? <laughs> yes. Not a power bar. <laughs> That's why they're not coming. They're all full. <laughs> they had a power bar and most of these <laughs> raisins. Well, here comes the hungry guy.
He just throws it in his cheeks. Uh -huh. They're so cute. This little greedy bastard. Look at this guy. He's stuffing his cheeks all the way. <laughs> oh my god, he totally hustled you. You got so hustled. Dude, she got major hustled. Wow. All right, chipmunk. Oh, they're all coming. Oh my gosh. There's a guy coming. Did you get hustled, babe? How'd you figure this out? Because I was just sat down over here and they started coming to me. And I was like, oh, wish I had something to feed them. So I broke out my protein bar and fed it to them. <laughs> All right, so before I head into town, I did want to show you guys one of the most iconic off-road spots here in Moab. It's called Potato Salad Hill. <laughs> and people try to really come up. You look it up on YouTube, trust me. Potato salad uh, crashes, rollovers, all that kind of stuff. This is what they try to come up. I'm not even kidding with you. Look at this. It might not look like much. I'm, I tell you right now, it is hard. People try to do this stuff in lifted trucks. I mean, clearly you couldn't do it on. There are people on YouTube trying to do it on stock vehicles. It is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, plenty, but really? there are a ton that don't make it up. There are tons. Not so bad right there. It's just when this one lip occurs, this is where most people like, it's either do or die, like right here. Babe, oh. are you are you gonna try to go down potato salad? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get up potato salad. All right, what does it feel like? What do you feel, what do you? Like it? I'm gonna tip over. Okay, what about your feet? Like, is it like sandpaper or not? Yeah, it's like See, sandpaper. It's like sandpaper. Oh. Oh. Man, you almost turned into some potato salad. <laughs> Man, if I was coming at this in a car, I think I'd poop my pants. Or your clam digger. Well, you don't have pants on, technically. Babe, they are not called clam diggers. Those are clam anymore. diggers. <laughs> that was like back in the yeah. 30s. Watch, my, my people on YouTube are going to be like, yeah, clam diggers. No, Swear. they're not clam diggers. Well, I don't know what, they look like clam diggers to me. All right, so now we are uh, doing a little micro off-road trip to see if we can grab sunset. Uh, sunset's at 6.30, it's 5.31 right now, and we're gonna go on a real, real basic off-road thing. I might not even have to use four-wheel drive, but it's somewhere around here. We're gonna be on a road that hugs the side of this crazy thing right here. It's a beautiful evening. I just don't think we're gonna see much of a sunset. You never know. I mean, there's definitely some sun coming up. Is this the Colorado or something? Yep. Man, that is pretty. So it's always about exploring. That's what we like to do. We like to just get out there and explore a little bit. Looks like these people are exploring. They have a little side by side. Anyway, so, uh, you know, it's what it's all about. We're just checking it out. We've never done this thing. We're going to a place called Hurrah Pass and we're just gonna make the best of it. Freaking nuts. Gosh. 